Muna Makhlam Abed, you are a senator in Egypt and a parliamentarian and a distinguished political scientist. Now, one of the first calls that the president-elect Donald Trump made was with Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, your president. How do you in Egypt see the future of Egypt and also the relationship of Egypt with the new regime in America, the coming regime in America? You know, this afternoon I just spoke about that because I said, unlike the West who have, you know, a crisis today, <laughs> First of all, for not having been able to predict the result of the relations or the, of the elections, and second, with the result of the elections. So unlike the West, we in our region have, as you said, not hailed uh, uh, President Trump, but we were sort of uh, cautiously optimistic with him. And as you said, also our president was the first one to congratulate him. They had met last year in New York. There was a good chemistry between them. So we are really very hopeful that something can change because the situation was very tense with the US and in particular with Egypt. And secondly, somehow the media didn't so seem to understand what was happening and kept on saying, you know, preventing the tourists from coming because of the insecurity there, whereas you, uh, the, the country is really facing lots of threats in the Sinai. And that's why we had hoped that we would have more support from the U.S. government in the Sinai. What sort of support could, they, could you have received and what do you hope to receive? Whatever, now? military... I mean, it's obviously a genuine problem in the Sinai. Yes, absolutely, just genuine, but not only that, but Daesh has established an Islamic state within the Sinai and we have casualties, daily casualties, between the civilians, the police and the army. All this doesn't seem to sink in into Western minds and they keep on attacking the president, attacking the, uh, the, the government um, on the basis of non-respect of human rights, non-respect of democracy, and so on. I have been in the uh, human rights organization for the past 25 years. I know exactly what human rights are. I have a lot of reservations about what is happening, those who are detained without, you know, real uh, causes for detention. But today, people do not want to hear about anything but stability. What they need from their leadership is to feel secure in their country and to have bread on their tables, food on their tables. It's a very good basic wish. I hope that we can fulfill that wish. Thank you so much for coming on Thank WBC you. TV. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be with you.